Now, this general election campaign slogans are usually some combination of stronger, fairer, better, brighter, sound like life insurance. The representative for today's smaller party has a different take. Shake your maracas if you're against the frackers. <laughs> He is, of course, bears from the We Are the Reality Party. That is going to stick out, I think, as a party slogan. Founded in 2014, they were originally known as the Reality Party. In their own words, they want to bring about revolutionary change for everyone in as short a time as possible. And their policies include closing all offshore tax havens, renationalisation of water, energy and transport and banning fracking. They will have three candidates standing in the 2015 general election. They currently have 4,907 followers on Twitter. And talking of social media, they believe one way to engage people in politics would be instant referendums via social media. Well, one of their candidates joins us now from Salford, Mark Berry, better known as Bez. Welcome to The Daily Politics. How are you, everybody? Thank you for having me on here. You're welcome. Now, tell us first of all about this revolution that you want to have in as short a time as possible. Can you explain a little bit more about how you do this? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, is uh, the party was basically formed because of the threat of fracking. And also we've got uh, the threat of TTIP, which is uh, a hostile takeover by a foreign power, which is the American corporates, uh, and which doesn't get mentioned in the budget as well. And the idea of, uh, um, uh, re well, it's not a revolution, it's more of an evolution, mm. because if we don't evolve as, as, a, a, as a, a race of people, the human race, if we don't evolve and move away from fossil fuels, then the consequences are dire for us all. Right, but you're not attracted to the, the Green Party then in, in that respect, following what they're it, doing, some sort of demonstrations against, as you say, fracking sites, you want to have yeah, cleaner energy... Well, well, the Green Party has been around for a few years and uh, we, unfortunately with the people of Salford, uh, uh, I can't see the Green Party doing well. So that's why I mm. formed a new political party with new ideas. And some of the ideas, because we got, uh, for, for instance, we've got food banks and what I want to do is uh, create a permacultural centre in Salford, which we are doing, and we're going to take responsibility back for our own food supply. How? So we... Yes, go on, sorry. So, so, yeah, yeah, so we, we want to set up community grows. We want to uh, set up, basically set up the idea of community again. And because the NHS has been sold now by David Cameron for £750 billion, I think he sold it for a few weeks ago, um, we've got well, to take responsibility for our own health. All right, well, I'm not and, sure... And some of the things we need to do <laughs> okay. is, uh, prevent, uh, is prevention... And uh, th that's what our party is about, basically. Right, it's about taking responsibility back for your own life and, and let's do something positive together. And we need, and basically, with the infrastructure bill as well. So if you're a middle class family out there and you're a landowner, your land is now being confiscated for corporate profit. Right. Which, so we need to do. Uh, so what my job is to do is to uh, you know, make people aware of the problems what we're facing and the real problems, because there's so much distraction. And I've been listening to your show today. Yeah, and actually, what do you think? nobody's dealt with any of the, the, the issues, what we're all facing, and which is, and the biggest one is TTIP. And there's not a mention on any show about the, what it means to the people of England. Well, we have actually... It's been swept hang on, under hang on the Mark, let me, let me just interrupt you there. We have actually done um, something on the issues that you mentioned, and your figure about selling the NHS, which you accused David Cameron of... Uh, would, no doubt would be disputed by them. But let's just go back to some of the original thoughts. This sounds like a community party. You want to, communities to take responsibility for society. How long do you think it would take for that sort of evolution to happen? Well, it, it, it could start immediately and we need to start it immediately. And how, yeah, but would it and take a few right years? Would it take a few years? Yeah, it to could do... take a few years. Uh, I, I've not put together a plan because we are obviously a new party and I couldn't tell you the exact amount of years it would take, but it won't take very long. And, uh, uh, and so, because we've got, well, another thing we've got is this thing called the Northern Powerhouse, yeah. which is involved mm. in, in the budget. Now, the Northern Powerhouse, we get an unelected mayor and seven uh, cabinet members with him. Now, this, this unelected mayor ha takes 
uh, the money from London what's being passed to them and we, the people, don't even get to vote who the mayor's going to be to represent us. All right, well, let me just put some of this to, to our guest, um, yeah, yeah. Jackie Smith. I mean, listening to this, do you think there are issues that the main parties just are not dealing with? They're not appealing to the sorts of people that Mark would like to talk to? Um, no, I, I mean, I disagree with Mark. I, I like his emphasis on growing communities. I think mm. that's something that uh, all major political parties can do more of. I disagree with him about the Northern Powerhouse. I think devolving power out of Westminster is a good thing to happen. It's, yeah, not, it's, true good, that, oh, sorry. it's not true nobody's talking about TTIP. Labour have been very clear that they want to ensure the, that the NHS is carved out of any uh, TTIP-style trade agreement. Yeah, but so, you're not actually... Yes, but and also, to take that the point a bit further, though, Labour is not ruling out any more private sector provision in the NHS, though, is it? Putting a limit on the profits that can be made and being very clear, actually, that, that it's the NHS that should be the main provider of care and that there is something special, actually, right. about the provision that is made in the public sector by NHS workers. So would there be a cap on the percentage of work or contracts that would go out to the private sector? Well, what's happened under this government is that there has been, because of the Health and Care Act, an emphasis on competition. Hasn't gone up very much, though, has it? Not an enormous... I, I mean, I'm not the one that's arguing that the no, no, NHS no. has been sold off. But I do think that there is a question there that Andy Burnham and Ed Miliband are uh, keen to solve mm. by repealing the Health and Care Act and by limiting the, the amount of profit that can be made from providing services to NHS pa patients. Right, but obviously that private sector provision would still be there. No, it, it's, not, uh, it's not about whether you're against uh, or talking about selling off the NHS is about whether you would actually see any growth in private sector provision um, under a Labour government. There doesn't seem to be any cap on that per se. Well, I think the emphasis in terms of everything that we've been talking about in the NHS is how you support NHS staff, NHS organisations to do a better job and a reformed job at the moment. All right. uh, and uh, it was the Health and Care Act which at least set the ground for the emphasis on competition and tendering that actually a Labour government would do away. Mark, just before we say goodbye to you, if you are elected, would you continue with your musical career? Uh, well, I, I may have to put it uh, to one side for a, for a small period, but I'm, I'm quite willing to do that for, for the sake of the people because I do believe if we do not do something now, then it's going to be too late after these elections. All right. So, um, yeah, so that, that's why, basically why I've stood to, to, uh, to do what I'm doing, to help raise awareness and, and give uh, the people of Salford somebody they can vote for because the Labour Party used to be the Socialist Party and used to represent the people of uh, the working people of England and they long ago uh, 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 forgot because uh, on, on the Salford coat of arms in Latin it says the welfare of the people is the highest law and that motto they have forgotten.